Hi everyone. We have not posted in a little bit and we wanted to let you know why and what was going on. I'm doing this update by myself and uh, I think it was like two years ago Shane did a video without me or most of it was without me and I remember there were tons of comments from people saying that I must have been out with my other boyfriend. Um, and so I just want to get ahead of the comments that are obviously going to come in and say that Shane is with his other wife. Uh, Shane is in the other room. He is resting. He is not speaking right now because of a complication with his tooth procedure, um, but he is here. Uh, Shane, do you want to yell and tell them that you're here? Yes. Okay. Uh, well, that was Shane's contribution, but I'm going to let you know what is going on and what's going on with Shane specifically. He even wrote a, a letter to you guys, so I'll read that. I'm sure it's going to be really interesting. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Thank you to Luna for sponsoring this video. I've talked about this before, but I am not very good at falling asleep. Doesn't matter how tired I am, it seems that the minute my head hits the pillow, my brain thinks of a million things to think about and keep me awake. I think about speaking engagements that we have coming up. I think about emails that I have to send. I think about emails that I've already sent. And I go over them and see if I said anything that maybe wasn't as perfect as it could have been. I think about our to-do list. I plan our grocery list because why not? <laughs> it's not uncommon for Shane to wake me up at 3 a.m. and ask, do we have avocados? <laughs> do we have my favorite chips? <laughs> but lately, I've been sleeping wonderfully thanks to the Luna app. Luna guides you through relaxing, interactive stories to help you calm down and prepare for sleep. The narrator has a deep, calming voice, and I often find myself getting sleepy while Shane uses the app. The stories have visuals and soundscapes as well to trigger feelings of relaxation. My favorite story that I've been using has been One Night in Paris, and it just has this indescribable charm that zonks me right out. I love it. Install the Luna app today on iOS or Android and leave all of your stress behind as you prepare for sleep each night. You can use the link in our description or scan the QR code that you see right now to get a seven day free trial. Oh, look at that everyone. Just talking about Luna put him right to sleep. All right, so we filmed that ad right around the time that we posted that update video saying that Shane's surgery went really well and he was recovering fine and had like basically no pain. Um, but a couple of days after that, maybe like two days after that, he started having bad tongue pain. Um, like he got a cut on the side of his tongue and he had his one week post-op appointment and the surgeon looked at it and thought that it was probably because, you know, with the tooth being removed, the tooth there was a new side of, you know, his other tooth that was exposed and it was rough and that was like cutting his tongue. So he actually had another procedure done to like shave that down. So it's been a couple of days since he had that shaving down procedure done and it seems to be getting worse. Like his tongue is bleeding and really, really painful. He cannot speak. And we have a big speaking engagement coming up in a couple of days. So we're really nervous. Like that's why he's not speaking is because we're trying, we're hoping that his tongue heals um, with like very limited activity uh, before this speaking engagement because it would be really terrible to cancel it. Um, and that's why we're not posting videos because Shane is currently being basically silent uh, to save his tongue. And we're really not sure like what more we can do for it because the shaving down thing didn't work. So uh that's about it. We really don't know. Well, I guess I'll read his letter now. We should all prepare ourselves for whatever this is going to say. I'm sure it's going to be extremely obnoxious. Okay, here, here, this is the, this is the beginning I imagined. Send help. Hannah is holding me against my will. That's the first line. Okay. Hi, everyone. Shane here. As Hannah records this, I am probably in the adjacent room contemplating life and all of its eternal misery. This is what I have been dealing with for the past week. 
If you guys thought I was being a dramatic baby about needing my teeth pulled, you wouldn't believe how much I'm milking this tongue sore. I mean, to be fair, it feels like Satan himself is slicing my tongue to shreds with a razor blade made from molten magma, so I deserve at least a little pity. <laughs> Jokes aside, the reality is that I'm fine. My mouth just needs time to heal. It's extremely painful to talk, and since talking is such a large part of our career, with speaking engagements, virtual meetings, and obviously making videos, I'm doing everything I can to heal up as fast as possible. Hannah has been a wonderful nurse these past two weeks. She reminds me to take my meds, comforts me when the pain is at its worst, and chews my food for me so that I don't need to bother with that painful process. Nope. As I write this, I'm realizing that this form of involvement in our videos suits me best. <laughs> I think from now on, we'll just have Hannah perform both parts of Squirmy and Grubs. And now, without further ado, here is a steamy scene of Shane and Hannah kissing, performed by Hannah only. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Thank you for all the well wishes during my recovery. I'll be back soon. Until then, please don't forget about me. Love, Sean. He signed his name as Sean. So that's, that's Shane's message for all of you. I'm sure his tongue will heal up soon and we'll be back. But for now, I'll just go and... Uh, Give him some soup. All right, everyone. Bye. Hello, everybody. Hello. Look at that. I'm back. Your voice. I'm back, and I have a haircut. Yeah. So some might even say, I'm back and better than ever. Okay. Some. More powerful. Wiser. Shane. I use my time of silence to reflect on my abilities, my powers. To harness them. Oh, she's whining. Our dog is whining in the room behind me. <laughs> Life is normal. What did you what did you like come to realize about your powers and abilities? Um, that I'm not very good at talking when my tongue hurts. Okay. That's a, a weak tongue. That's a, an Achilles heel that I have. <laughs> um, but we got we got through our speaking engagement for IBM. We were speaking to all of the employees of IBM. Mm. Like in a bunch of different countries. Didn't want to cancel that. Yeah, it felt important. And uh, But your recovery was sort of like a bizarre, miraculous, miraculous <laughs> recovery. And it, it isn't now that we know what was wrong. We finally got answers. But we were so confused at first. So Shane's tongue was like super painful. And then a couple of days into that, his socket started becoming really painful also. I was like, great. That was yeah. So then perfect. he thought... He, he had developed an infection. You know, so he's like, oh no, like, do I have a fever? Like, all this stuff. Even though I was on antibiotics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because he was like, why would my socket start hurting like 10 days after the procedure or whatever it was? You know, like, it pain was completely gone after like day two, and then all of a sudden it came back a week later. Yeah. Disturbing, right? Um, and it was like real bad the night before yeah. the speaking engagement. And we were like, what are we going to do? Yeah, like, it, was, it was just getting worse and worse and worse every single day. It was not getting better at all. And then, so we were eating dinner. Shane was having mashed potatoes. And, <laughs> and he's eating dinner. And then after dinner, he's like, oh, my God. I was like, it doesn't hurt. My tongue doesn't hurt. Uh, uh, it Nothing it's hurts. better. Yeah. And so he was like, I, I think some mashed potatoes lodged against the sharp tooth or something like don't don't touch me like we have to just let the mashed potatoes sit there till our speech tomorrow and i, I was like keep watching just threw up i know <laughs> but he was like that has to be it so we were you know we were yeah. like i guess it's mashed potatoes covering the hole how could mashed potatoes have been covering the hole i don't know but it was blissful yeah. i was like they don't move me it's not hurting i yeah. just sleep tonight like, yeah I'll be he, hadn't, to, yeah. he hadn't been sleeping at all. It was really, really horrible. So all of a sudden, it's like healed. And then the next day, it was still healed. And I had brushed my teeth yeah. and eaten and drank. And I had looked. You were like, you know, see if something's there. And I yeah. couldn't see anything at all. There, it wasn't it shot her. It wasn't mashed potatoes <laughs> nothing doing there. anything. So I was like perplexed. Like, why did it just heal on its own instantly? Yeah. So we did our speech, whatever. I emailed a dentist friend of mine, a uh, guy that helped me out when I needed this procedure. He referred me to the uh, Dr. Patel here who did the surgery 
I really love Dr. Patel, by the way. Yeah. Shout out to Dr. Patel. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, if you're in the Minneapolis or Minnesota <laughs> area and you need <laughs> teeth removal or like oral surgery done. So stilled. Yeah. So kind. So gentle. Yes. Dr. Patel. We'll, that... we'll, we'll link the, we'll just put a link in the description yeah, to yeah, where yeah. he actually works. Cause <laughs> just saying Dr. Patel might not be all the information you need. <laughs> but anyway, um, the dentist that referred me to him, I emailed him and I was like, Hey, I've been having this pain, like blah, blah, blah. Here's what's been going on. He explained that it's common for you to have bone fragments after a tooth removal that have to like work their way out mm-hmm. and that can cause tongue pain yeah. and socket pain. Yeah, it was like out and cutting Shane's tongue. <laughs> so I've had a bone fragment ripping up the inside of my mouth okay. for weeks. No, nope. um, but all exaggerations, but then it just popped out and mashed potatoes. It popped out and I swallowed it. Worked them out, yeah. So now I have a bone fragment somewhere in my lower <laughs> intestine. We'll see how that goes. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but I'm feeling a lot better and feeling relieved. Yes. And now I think I'm finally out of the woods. Yeah. So. Fully healed. Sweet. But that was a terrible, like, two weeks. Ridiculous. You know, and we, like, didn't make any videos. We had so many people, you know, messaging us and emailing and commenting, being like, is something wrong? I think it was karma because two days after the procedure, yeah. I made the video saying, I'm fine. Like, I'm good. <laughs> it was easy. And Arnold was like, no, 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 no. All right. Well, that's what's been going on with us and Shane's miraculous recovery. Thank God your bo- your bone splinter left when it did. I should make a movie about me, really. Okay. <laughs> we'll, see, we'll see. In, oh, you want to keep going? What's it called? <laughs> okay. What's the movie called? The Boy Who Lives. Okay. <laughs> and his miraculous journey. We'll see you next time. From darkness to light. Oh, my God.